Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my channel. It's day 27 slash vlog 27 or 30 days of vlog challenge month. Um, and this is a vlog that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Um, basically, I'm gonna be talking to you about my favourite reviews. We're on about movie reviews. That I have actually done on my YouTube channel. And yes, I'm wearing a vest top, so <laughs> no nudity. <laughs> I am decent. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this one. Basically, my favourite reviews that I've done on my YouTube channel are there's quite a few that I've actually done. Some are horror and some aren't horror. But what reviews I have done, um, some that I've like I've talked about review when I've done the reviews, I've done were a bit sort of like I said in one review, that, <laughs> one review that um, it's not worth one hundred and twenty five, one hundred and fifteen, or some it's. Sometimes it goes up to £175. And one of the reviews I spoke about was the Gateway Meat. Which is a very disturbing horror movie. Well, it's very disturbing. Um, like, to some people it won't be disturbing. But the facts, I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler. Because um, it has so much gore and... One of the guys has like a dead corpse sleeping in his bed and then in one of the guy's house under ground he has like this torture thing but like that bit didn't really disturb me it was the fact that there was a child in it she was about four three or four years of age and she, in the film, from like my perspective, my view, it was put to me that the girl, the little girl, knew everything what the dad was doing. She liked what her dad was doing. It was encouraged that she was able to do these things at a young child, and that's one of the films that sort of like disturbed me. Because of the child in the film and what part she played in it. But other than that, it was one of my favourite views because it has quite a lot of views to it. Um, also, one of my favourite reviews was... The Nightmare Before Christmas. Love talking about that. That happens to be one of my favourite reviews ever because it's one of my favorite films also midnight express another fabulous review um what else was a great review um on my halloween challenge month which i never got to complete um what was one of the films there's quite a few. There was Manhattan Baby, which was another one that I really enjoyed reviewing. Um, Elvira, Mistress of Dark, Punchback of LA, The Secret Craft, uh, which is also known as The Source. They're like some of the few, and I also really enjoyed doing a review, even though at the time it was. When I first done it, it was kind of a bit crazy. But I really enjoyed doing the review of August Underground Modern. Absolutely adored doing that. Even though it was... Right, because if you haven't seen the August Underground trilogy, then you probably won't know what I'm on about. But out of the freedom, I thought personally that Mordom was more 
not only disturbing but it was more gory it was more bloody it was more violent because you had the aspect of the girl there was a bit um right at the beginning of the film you saw the aspect of the brother and sister doing things that they shouldn't have been doing but the girl in it she enjoyed it which can be put across as like like a bit of a taboo subject but in that world things like that can happen so in a way Fred Vogel did describe really well like portraying his part in the film and like the film like showing you like parts of it and then also I also done a review I don't know whether it's on my channel but I might have been on the old channel but I think I done a review of Nikodama the Psycho Snuff Reels and that was an hour long film that you can never take back like from I'd say up to about 25 minutes mark the film sort of like gets boring but after that then the torture the violence the chopping of the limbs the um doing stuff with organs you get my drift like even though like it was one of my favorite reviews but it wasn't either but there's still other reviews that are my favourite, but I'd have to go back on my channel and go, oh, I didn't remember reviewing this. Oh, I didn't remember reviewing this because I also have, like, on little bits, like little sub hyphens, whatever you want to call them. Like, like with this, with this will be on the 30 Days of Fraud Challenge Month where I ha also have random reviews. And there was also a review that I really, really done, and it's near, it's up there with one of my favourites. And like, I watched the film, it was a few months ago, I think it was back in March, February, March, that I watched the film. And I was like, wow, this, it was a great film. And basically, it was about drug runners. They were from Colombia and they were coming over. They were going to different parts and they tried it one way it works. But then they tried it another way by swallowing the cocaine. And basically the guy got through and he was told by the drug runner, which was played by David Carradine. Go through, just be at the hotel, she'll wait for you there. He was there for hours and hours and end. And what actually happened was he caught the girl. And she survived because they somehow got them out of, out of the system. But the guy, when they caught him, one of the pellets had exploded in his system and he unfortunately passed away on the way to the prison. Which was it was it was sad but it was one of them films where you were you, you it was so unexpected of the entire film. You were like you were wondering what was gonna happen next and and it was like you're thinking this is gonna happen, but it wasn't. Something else happened. <sighs> so they are like some of my favourite reviews that I have done. And I can't wait to talk about more reviews and then put them up there as like my other favourites, like more of my favourites. So of course I hope you like this blog and I will see you soon.
Stay gory, have unpleasant dreams, and I will see you all soon. Ta-ta for now. Bye.